action does not stop. ZJZ versus Samurai here in the loser side. Yeah, after fighting past Dogura to make it here in top eight, ZJZ faces off against Samurai. Winner of this goes on to face Flakito. Flakito, who had a very, very impressive run for those of you just tuning in. Man, you missed out on a ton of action. Flakito with a very, very impressive Sakura of all characters, making it within himself top three. Here we go. Minat Akuma, ZJZ, sponsored by Punk versus Samurai. So this is a matchup we've seen quite a lot as well in the uh, in the top eights of various Capcom Pro Tour oh, events yeah. this season, but not with these players. So it's very interesting to see uh, how they'll both approach this. Of course, two Akumas in top eight, Samurai Sam as well as Otani, who's still in. Yeah, Samurai very much so well-traveled. We've seen them time and time again in the tour. ZJZ, we rarely get to see. Such a such a well-respected uh, Shoto player in general. Nice, the side switch, shades of Sako there. Side switch afterwards, yeah, nice. He could have gone for a normal afterwards, but ZJZ was kind of fearing it. Still gets the throw instead. And here comes the presence of the orbs. Yeah, keeping so all of that space. There's no risk of getting opened up badly if you're going to just stay full screen against those orbs. Yeah, a little bit of damage, something he can Samurai. afford. Samurai, the damage mitigation, which is really important in this game. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're Oh, the potential way to was, traverse past that. I'm pretty sure that was minus. That's the three frame rate. Yeah, a little bit high up there too. It was that drill kick, but still Samurai wasn't sure of oh, himself. The demon that could have been, if that was a jump in, I'm pretty sure that would hit. He dashed up, but still caught the recovery and mm. CJZ. Really good awareness though to check with the light kick. Oh, CJZ closes out the what first a round right the reflect. In his face? Point blank range. Beautiful stuff from ZJZ. Checking with the Fierce, the second one catches. Yeah. And you see Samurai really trying to it's figure crazy, out. It's crazy when double hard punch with Manat is a legit frame trap, yeah. right? Yeah, it's really tough. <laughs> Samurai only walked up like an inch, a, like barely an inch. It's like minus, it's I think it's like minus seven or something on block. It's still a legit frame trap, it's crazy. You gotta treat it like a like a fireball. Yeah, he went for the jump in. Thought the second one was gonna come. It didn't. Ready for the ex anti air throw. Orb has just been such a problem. Samurai has not figured out a way to get past the offensive threshold. ZJZ is just putting up an entire wall. Oh, oh. Another one. And CJZ has basically got full V trigger from just cross counter. Such a smart oh, play, ZJZ. Activation catches the dash up. And this is looking Minot very, wins. very difficult for Samurai. Very good awareness there from ZJZ. Again, a very common activation route for Akuma players. Yeah, being able to fireball into V trigger and then start the offense. ZJZ therein, neutralizes. Therein lies the rub, though, because when right. it becomes predictable, when it is very common, you're going to have a. You can probably have worked on an answer for it. As he should, seeing himself this far into the last chance qualifier, he should have that up his sleeve, as you are expected to see the lights of Akuma somewhere in there. DJZ, very, very solid stuff here in the first game against Samurai. Samurai was actually put into, uh, I forgot who put him into losers, actually, but I know. I who put him. Samurai into losers? Takeuchi. Yeah, that's what it was, yeah. John Takeuchi was running a mark against them. ZJZ the adaptation between, between those two was insane. Very reminiscent of how JTAC took it's it over. It's actually Samurai that put ZJZ into loser's bracket oh, in pools. Double Jeopardy situation, pool B8. Very nice. Not sure on what the score the was. Jump. I thought I saw two to one. I know that was what the case was. What is ZJZ doing different? Oh, that was, that was so horrible. ambiguous. There was no way that was not a cross up and then she just woke up on the other side that was mad back, back up off. sick i need I that clip to want to see that later that's the, the same kind of Told scenario you, you have to respect it it doesn't matter that there's like a 23 frame gap <laughs> or whatever it is doesn't matter In a very familiar situation as we saw game one, ZJZ really controlling the momentum here against Samurai. He hasn't found a really solid way in just yet. 
A lot of times he's getting stopped yeah, by the Phoenix. He's finding it really difficult to just traverse that range. When you play a Manat that's basically just using heavy punch and jab. Very seldomly throwing out the orb too. Yeah. Here we go. Samurai now finally He getting needs started. to make this count. He's going to activate on block. He's Cross ready cut. for the jump out. Doesn't get the side switch though in that instance. Oh, oh he went for the throw. He walked he out. It. 12 seconds left He's on the clock already. This. He has to go in, but this is the worst situation. Oh, he gets caught a slide. Him, He's in the back oh. away. He, oh, he lets him rip. He? Wow. Wow. He understood the risk and went for it anyway. Wow, we're in Vegas. <laughs> Put everything on black. Life savings the whole nine. College tuition. Who 250K, all on black. And now DJC, you see him a little bit more antsy. He's starting off the offense. He's putting himself right in front of Samurai this time, initiating the offense. Huge turnaround. It might have gotten to his head. Okay, no, I, I take it all back. Now he's playing. <laughs> the now he's playing the old strategy. Back and away. Man, that was sick. Play. And again, was that the four problem with four? that. Yeah, the problem with the Shoto um, fireball animations is their hurtbox comes forward. Right. So even though that first. Fireball whiffs. What? That's right, that first heavy punch whiffs. The second one, you've actually moved yourself in range. And there's that activation. Could the be all the way. Back, back. Nope. And that's going to close out the round. And Samurai's just not able to get himself in a range where he's able to really threaten CJZ. And He's having to make, yeah, real, like, sort of YOLO reads on these EX dive flips as well. Yes, yes. I was just about to mention that. Like, a lot of the times he's trying to resort to the EX dive flip. Meaty. But CJZ has had an answer every Did you see he didn't time. quick rise that time? <laughs> oh, he back rolled that one. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, the last time he got clipped. But Samurai, uh, uh, good amount uh, of damage uh, here. Uh, the uh. red fireball. He's going to get the V skill. skill. Take grab. No, didn't come. Oh! Yeah, a little bit too far out to try to uppercut it. Reflect, activation. Respect Top these frames. Board. He's running away. He's heading for the hills. We'll take that throw all day long. You can take a million throws. Well, not a million. No, don't say that. Definitely <laughs> take definitely take two or three. Okay, now the now the V-trigger's gone. It's a different proposal. Oh, it's so tense right now. ZJZ is just trying his best to keep him. Samurai in needs this to corner. keep the patience. Another throw is taken. Overhead, oh, no, nice overhead block. block, but it's safe because of the orb. Oh no, the life lead is now gone. Oh, the overhead overhead hits this taken. Time. And that was a horrible situation to be in. Mikey just couldn't find the daylight to interrupt. There were very little gaps for him, even him to jump out or even use the meter. Because DJZ was at the prime spot. Do you know what I really like as well? Spot. Yeah, the spacing, exactly right. That prime spot where, Round yeah, there one. might have been a gap frame-wise right. to fit in a line. Yeah. You weren't close enough for that. Again, that pocket, he's so comfortable in that pocket to keep that oppression going. So smart from ZJZ, putting him up 2-0 to zero against Samurai. Man, that was so sick. Get that threat of that orb, Samurai has to respect it. He has no choice. DJZ has just been really dictating this pace throughout the entirety of the set. He's really changed up his zoning as well. That was it's sick. all orb now. Back throw in the corner. Orb again. Oh, he gets popped out. Switched oh, up as well. Very dangerous spot. The orb is behind her. No, she still managed to recall there it. Samurai go. didn't get to emphasize that knockdown. Two fireball checks, not going to be enough, ZJZ. Now he was walking forward earlier. That's the orb release right behind the fireball. Two good gone. Still significant life lead here for ZJZ. It's going to get that activation, but no real danger. Jumps out. That is Zanki. Plus frames. This is the Still most I've seen Akuma really suppressed even after having V Trigger active. That's a good trade. He'll take that happily. Oh, oh that's got not. Oh, he tried to go for kick. What was that? Empty jump possibly? That must have low? been an empty jump, though. It had to have been an empty jump. There low, was a counter on the board. 
100% wasn't anti jump throw. ZJC. I mean, it might have been an anti jump throw, I'm not going to lie, but it was something anyway. He got counter hit by that free frame, like it. And he Looking is at just being right told to sit down in that corner. Where are you going? Oh, oh yeah. another crush counter. Five for five. Forced the block after that orb recall. Didn't get the hit. Oh, Ooh. straight over it. You saw Otani <gasps> go over the whirlwind shot against Takeuchi that time. The forward fist goes over the orb. Stun is coming. One more guess. Gets it, Samurai. Heavy sigh of relief there. Survive it. It is and separate that's the thing. for CJZ. Even when he does get in, that doesn't even mean anything. Because as soon as there's daylight, CJZ. He's finding that three frame light kick. He's walking out. He's making it so difficult, even for a character that has Ooh. no real defensive options. Big time opener for Samurai, mm -hmm. something he's been needing this entire set. Does get punished for that EX Tatsu. Misplaced buffer normal. Oh, oh wow! He still gets the conversion that full was on fortuitous. combo. Oh. And another massive life lead. ZJZ looking to close out 3-0 here Ooh. against Samurai. It's going to be an incredible comeback if he makes it. Cut them again. Six for six, man. I'm telling you. What another fight to projectile here. Trigger for trigger. That's the thing. You can't even jump it in because you can do the orb release as well. Just sitting there holding those last two orbs. He's gonna let it rip real soon. And they oh, go. He's gonna let him, let him dissipate instead. DJZ in a very, very comfortable position, though. And then you see interrupting again with that light kick. <gasps> Anti air, DJZ 1000% prepared for it, eliminating. XSK Samurai. Absolutely torrid They're for Samurai. Wins. That was so stressful for him to deal with that. He went in on a read, man. CJZ was so comfortable with his spacing and, and both styles of zoning as well. With orb and sending the orb out as well. I would say that holding the orb probably worked out best for him overall. Um, the number of cross count and fierces that we saw. In was, that, uh, <laughs> those specific scenarios up close, it was like six for six. It was crazy. Um, but even the orb zoning, it just meant that any time that uh, Samurai tried to inch forward, beat a dash, even walk forward, he had to be wary of the orb recall. 